In today's episode of the Czech Way series, we will focus on the long-term decline in the growth of the Italian economy. Similar to most EU countries, the development of the Italian economy is not favorable. Also, Italy will gain worse economic growth in each subsequent decade than in the previous one. Back in the 1980s, Italy's economy was growing at two full, 54 hundredths of a percent, that is, the comparable level at which the US economy grew in 2023. However, the fall in the growth of the Italian economy is continuing down to a threatening zero, a full 27 hundredths of a percent, and Italy is headed for negative values. Our team finds it alarming that Italy's economy has been steadily declining, despite 50 years of constant debt. In our opinion, if you pour new money into the economy, it should encourage the economy to grow, but the opposite is happening. Italy's economic growth is the second worst in the EU. We drew data for the economic comparison of the decades from the World Bank database, which is freely accessible on the internet. The calculated average values were defended by Dr. Kabissa in his dissertation at Technical University of Ostrava, which was founded in 1849 and ranks among the most prestigious universities in the Czech Republic. Have you ever wondered why you learn such serious facts that we present here from a small scientific team and not from official sources? Why don't you hear about the 50-year decline in economic growth from your government, the EU or even the OECD? Isn't that strange? This is also the reason why we started macroeconomic research in 2011. We will not hide anything from you. Here you will see complete and verifiable facts, although they may be unpleasant. Aren't most of us indifferent to the direction of economies? Don't we think to ourselves, somehow it will be managed, will they somehow solve it or will it somehow even happen? Are you really satisfied with how our governments are handling macroeconomic problems? If the majority of EU countries are headed for zero growth, isn't it reasonable to start publicly discussing the causes of this decline? EU governments have been making the same decisions for the entire 50 years that economic growth has been declining. We keep hearing, the government approved the budget deficit, we have to raise taxes. Now it's not called a tax increase, but a consolidation package. Actually, one thing is new. They are now convincing the public that we have to retire later. It's the same thing over and over again. Shouldn't governments make a difference if they want to make a difference? Isn't it stupid when governments make the same decisions over and over and expect to get different results? We present the next part, number three, on the Hero Hero platform. In this part, we will declassify point number one of the Czech Way program. You will see the first part of what we call Industrial Revolution 5.0. Dear friends, for a subscription of 5 euros, we will share the entire Czech Way story with you on the Hero Hero platform. Raising funds for further research is not our only motivation for setting up a channel on the Hero Hero platform. Our dream is to create a Czech Way community and together create a European economic miracle. We will share with you the results of scientific research, inform you about the letters we write to prime ministers, presidents and other politicians and their nonsensical answers. Above all, we will share the entire well-thought-out Czech Way program with you, as a clearly, transparent source. We will provide you with scientific answers to your questions. We will also analyze how we can create pressure to reduce the price of goods and services without harming the economy. Thank you for watching the video and we look forward to the next episode number 3.